Once there was a man who had a very large and prosperous ranch in a beautiful valley hidden by tall mountains all around. The Hidden Valley Ranch, as it was called, was known far and wide for its big, fat, juicy worms, a favorite meal of the local fish. The rancher, Chick Buffalo Wing, had two sons, King, the elder of the Wing Boys, and Bing, his younger brother. For many years, the three worked side by side until the name Hidden Valley Ranch was world famous. One day, while counting the herd, four thousand seven hundred and sixty-two. Four thousand seven hundred and sixty-three. Four thousand seven hundred and sixty-four. Dad. Hey, Dad. Four thousand seven hundred and sixty-five. Yes, Bing. Four thousand seven hundred and sixty-six. Dad, I was thinking how here I am, seventeen years old. Eighteen. Yes. Nineteen. Twenty. And I haven't been anywhere or seen anything but the tail end of these worms, or the head. I still can't tell which. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. What do you mean? I took you to Crater Mountain just last week. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Big deal. There's nothing there but a big hole in the ground. There are about twenty thousand places I'd like to see. Twenty thousand and one. Twenty thousand and two. Twenty thousand and three. And that doesn't include the United States. All fifty of them. Fifty-one. Fifty-two. Fifty-three. Fifty-four. Fifty-five. Fifty-five worms. Somehow I thought we had more than that. Dad, did you hear what I said? Yes, son. But there's more to life than just seeing the world. Well, I know, Dad. I want to do stuff too. That's why I want my half of the worms. Twenty-seven and a half worms doesn't go as far as it used to, son. Why, when I was your age. Dad, can I have the worms or not? Do you think you can handle all that responsibility? Are you kidding? I can handle worms with my eyes closed. Actually, that's the only way I can handle them. Well, if you really feel like you have to, go ahead. But I wish you'd stay. You're such a big help with that worm count. Sorry, Dad. I've got to go. Adios. So Bing packed his bags and his half of the worms, and it turns out there were, in fact, quite a lot more than twenty-seven and a half. And took off for the big city, where he spent all his worms on parties and having fun. Oh, Bing, you are so interesting. Yeah, it's so much fun. What do we spend your worms on today? Sorry, girls, I'm down to my last worm. I'll have to use him, or her, to catch my dinner. What? No more worms? Bye, buddy. Yeah, what a loser! But I thought you were my friend. <laughs> We, We were. were. <laughs> Now what do I do? And so, with no worms and no friends, Bing was forced to go to work. The only job he was qualified for was scrubbing out dumpsters with his toothbrush for a local restaurant. He was not happy in his work. This job stinks. They throw away better food than what I can afford to buy. I'm glad my father can't see me now. Well, I wonder how he and King are doing. It's getting close to branding time. They could probably use another pair of hands to hold those little wrigglers still. Hey, maybe I could talk Dad into giving me a job. At least then I could afford to eat and to buy a new toothbrush. That's what I'll do. I'll go home and beg Dad to let me work for him.
So Bing packed up his terribly dirty, smelly, disgusting toothbrush that was all covered in rancid garbage and Okay, run... okay, they get the idea. Get on with the story. Sorry. Bing went home. Meanwhile, back at the Hidden Valley Ranch, Buffalo Wing and his other son, King, were out in the field working with a new crop of worms. Hold his head still, King. I am. No, no, not that head. The other one, on the other end. Oh. Hey, Dad, are you expecting company? No, why? There's a pretty smelly looking guy headed this way. Hmm, he does look smelly, but that's no guy. That's your little brother, Bing. Dad, please don't call me Bing. I'm King. Bing is my little brother's name. Oh. Son, where have you been? And where did you get that toothbrush? Out of the trash? Mr. Buffalo Wing, who I used to call Dad, but am no longer worthy to do that anymore, do you have any work I can do here at Hidden Valley Ranch? I don't need much. Just some clean food and a dry place to sleep that isn't a dumpster. Don't be ridiculous. You're my son. Of course you don't have to sleep in the dumpster. And call me Dad. But I was foolish. I left home and lost everything you gave me. I'm ashamed of myself. I don't deserve to be called your son anymore. He's right, Dad. You should listen to him. And you didn't lose everything. You still have your toothbrush there. Don't you see? You came back. That's all that matters. You are more important than any number of worms. Why don't you go get cleaned up and tell the cook to prepare the fatted turkey? No, wait, that's for Thanksgiving. Tell her to prepare the fatted calf. We'll have burgers on the grill. Okay, Dad, and thanks. King, you go invite all of our friends. Tell them your long lost brother is home. Meanwhile, I'll go in town and see if I can find a pinata in the shape of a worm. Wait a minute, Dad. Let me get this straight. Bing takes half the worms, runs off and loses everything but his toothbrush, comes crawling home smelling like a dumpster, and you give him a party? I've been here the whole time up to my elbows in worms, and I never got a party. You didn't even yell at him. King, you have always been a good and faithful son. Everything that I have is yours. I thought your brother was gone forever. It's like having him back from the dead. It doesn't mean I love you less or him more. It's just that your brother was lost and now he is found. Jesus told a story much like this to show people how much God loves his children. No matter how foolish we are, God always loves us and rejoices when a lost one comes home.